Okay, so let's draw the given line. So here we're going to draw a perpendicular line on line AB, but it has to come from a point P, right? So we draw line AB and then we locate point P there. How far is uh, point B, P from point A? Hmm? So when you draw a line like this one, for example, we are going to start with um, line AB, like this one, right? And then there is point P somewhere. And we are saying point P is located on this same line, right? So the distance from A to P is 30. So you locate point P. Just like that. Now, you draw a line from point P that will meet uh, line AB at 90 degrees. You get the point? So, for us to draw a perpendicular line from this point on this given line, right? You get your compass, open it to any convenient radius, such that when you place it at point P, it will be able to cut the line AB at two points. For example, I'll open it to this radius, and then stand at point P, strike an arc, and then this other side, strike an arc, just like that. So after making these arcs, these two arcs, you want to extend your compass a bit, you just extend it a bit. Again, this is any radius, you just extend it, it's just any radius. The idea is we want to strike an arc from this point, this side, and from that point, that side, the arcs have to meet. So if we don't extend it, it will mean the arcs will meet from this point because this distance is the same, right? Yes. So we just extend it such that when we stand here, we strike an arc, maintaining the same radius, stand there, strike another arc. They meet there. And then you connect point P to the point of intersection of the arcs. So you connect point P to the point of intersection there. So when you measure the angle there, it should give you 90 degrees. 